It's toy review time. Hey, what's up guys? The Iron Hulk is back with a Hot Toys review today. We have the Predators Falconer Predator from the Hot Toys Movie Masterpiece line. And um, as you can see, we have um, a box very similar to uh, Berserkers, um, with the exception of the Falconer being displayed on the back. But um, the mask is still the same. Um, and then we got a nice picture of uh, the Falconer between the the red lines here. Um, we can lift this up and we get a better look at uh, Falconer from uh, you know in his in his movie uh, his movie look. And uh, one thing I really like is they added the Falcon in the back of the box. Uh, very nicely drawn or whatever how you know however they make uh, their box art but um, yeah the box is really cool um, but you know it's similar to Berserker so it's nothing new um, but yeah let's get on to the figure itself so uh, here we have Falconer in uh, all of his glory and uh, as you can see he is an awesome son of a bitch. Uh, he, of course, you know, his body is reused from Berserker and there's, a, there's many pieces that are just repainted from Berserker, uh, from, you know, Berserker's armor. But, um, you know, I love the mask. You have to love the uh, Falconer mask. He's to me, I, I love this mask a lot more than Berserker's because Berserker was just uh, the classic predator with a bone jaw attached to it. That's pretty much all it was. This guy has an all new look. He has his falcon with him. He has uh, his cool claw. And I'm just really, I, I'm really impressed. Um, especially with how they did this because, like I said, this is, many of the parts are just reused. So, um, we'll give you a 360 view here. So, um, you know, he does have new hair and uh, he does have some new attachments to his armor. Uh, his claw is newly sculpted. Of course, his mask is newly sculpted. And um, this small kind of armor piece over here is new. But pretty much the rest is, uh, you know, all Berserker, which some people may like, some people, you know, may may have issues with. But uh, once again, you know, he's still his very much his own character, which I love. So um, you know, we can get uh, closer into the details here. So. Here's a nice close-up of Falconer's face. And as you can see, he is wonderfully sculpted. Um, the mask is just, I love this mask, it's badass. It, it shows, you know, it shows he means business. It's just a very awesome mask. I really did wish though in the movie that maybe this piece right here would open up and kind of reveal his mouth. And kind you know, I, I thought that would have been sick. Um, but still, we get this really wonderfully designed mask. And I personally think that they did a better job with uh, Falconer's mask compared to Berserker's. Um, like I said in my Berserker review, you know, the, the mask was a little bit petite. Um, <clears throat> I still love the look, but I do think this one is a bit more movie accurate. Um, just in terms of the mask. You know, we get a uh, quick shot of his hair back here. Um, you know, it is a bit, sh uh, well, not really. I mean, these parts are short, like they were in the movie, but um, I think they just reused Berserker's hair here um, because it's supposed to be short. I think it's supposed to be up to here, but um, yeah, whatever. <clears throat> so, you know, like, uh, 
like they advertise you cannot take his mask off I have seen people uh, remove the mask um, on sideshowfreaks.com um, sideshow collectors and um, you know there is a face just no mouth because the mouthpiece is attached to the mask area so they do have a berserker sculpted face in there um, it's unpainted um, I'm not gonna take mine off I'm, I'm fine with the way it looks with the mask on um, but yeah go on sideshowcollectors.com and uh, search for the falconer uh, page and yeah you'll be able to see it on there um, people are modifying it they're you know painting it because you can't see um, the some of the skin right here some of the face so you do know the color that's my stupid dog you do know the color of the skin and everything so I mean to each his own some people I personally don't care if I got a, a berserker replica face with green paint you know it doesn't really make a difference to me but um yeah we get a quick look at his chest he does have a very nice redone paint job um, some people were saying that it doesn't look as realistic as the Berserkers and I can see where they're coming from it's much more um, uh, you know the Falconer has a much more fleshed out kind of flesh tone body and um, yeah that's here we have a quick look at the, um, the newly sculpted uh, claw hand and as you can see it's wonderfully rendered uh, the sculptors really um, you know they took advantage of uh, you know this body of course being reused but adding these new you know small details just looks amazing I love this club I mean of course I'm gonna love everything about predator figure because I am a huge predator fan but this thing is fucking sweet I love it um, you know, and then, and then we got this sort of thing right here, which um, a lot of people have had issues with it being loose, and I have the same exact issue. Uh, people are complaining; they're saying, "Oh, quality control." It's not really quality control; it's just the way they designed it. Um, there's really nothing to, to uh, hold it down because the way they designed it, they should have moved this piece over here, so at least there's a tight, you know, like a tighter range. But, um, yeah, I mean, how the hell is this going to stay tight if it's, like, direct, you know, like, almost directly right next to this piece? So, it's not, you know, there's no tight, um, there's no, like, you know, nothing to hold it down. So, I think what I'm going to do is just super glue this piece right here, um, to the leg. So, at least it just stays still like that. We'll see. Uh, it doesn't really bother me too much. Some people don't like it, but... I I really have no problem with it. Um, then there's another piece right here that they added, um, and you know all this is wonderfully painted, and uh, you know Hot Toys uh, for what this is, and many people aren't happy with this figure. I love this figure. Um, there there's just so much to love about the Falconer. So um, you know he does come with a couple accessories. Nothing, you know, nothing that special. He comes with the same accessories as a Berserker does, pretty much. Except, okay, except. Look up. Do, 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 do. Oh yeah, babe. Oh yeah. The Falcon people bitched. People moaned. They got their Falcon. The Falconer is not complete without his Falcon, obviously. And um. I say he is nicely sculpted. I say he's pretty nice. There's no articulation whatsoever. I would have liked for the wings at least to prop up and down or have some sort of articulation right here. Or maybe a light up feature on the face. Something that you know would make the, the, the cost of this figure a little bit more worthwhile. But um, overall, I mean, this is just a really nicely sculpted and painted uh, falcon. And the thing is, we barely saw this in the movie. You know, the, the, the movie's budget was so tiny that they could not, you know, they, they, they can only put so much. And at least we saw some, <laughs> something that looked like this, right, in the movie. 
So that's you know let's just be happy that we saw it. Maybe they'll they'll re put it back in Predators Two or whatever. Um, but yeah, very nicely sculpted. I do love the little pipe things in the back. Very nice. And um, he does have this flimsy plastic thingy, like knife thing. Um, but yeah, and then uh, Falconer has this rod that the bird goes into, the falcon. And um, while I'm not too hot on the look of this rod, because it does, I said hot rod, it does um, <clears throat> this look a little bit cheap, especially compared to the one that they show at uh, was some toy fair. Um, yeah, it was some like Japanese toy fair. It was this black rod, and it looked oops, it looked really nice. And then we get this, and it's just like, eh, it's okay. So that's one thing I guess they could have at least given us that you know that nice. It was like a thin black rod, and it you know it it really complemented the figure. This just looks kind of cheap and plasticky and. Well, anywho, um, <clears throat> so the Falconer does come with a light-up feature. I think it's a very unnecessary feature, but, you know, just to make it, you know, the price uh, over $190, he does have, um, there you go. Just like Berserker, he does have a light-up feature, and, I mean, it's okay. It's fun. I'm not going to ever use it because there's no reason he has no uh, plasma caster you know he just has his falcon and, and his uh, and his claw hand pretty much so you know the, the only reason why Hot Toys did this like I said was just to make the price point a little bit more fair but still it's not fair <laughs> uh, he just doesn't have anything new besides the, the uh, predator, predator skull, excuse me, predator skull, and the falcon. So, um, and I will show you. Here is the skull. Um, very nice skull. It's a. I mean, I'm actually really happy that he came with this because I always wanted. You know, I have the xenomorph skull from uh, the um, city hunter figure. Um. And now I have a, a Yaucha, uh Predator Skull. And um, yeah, I mean, the likeness is amazing. The way they, you, know, you can tell it's a Predator. You can tell that he's been dead for a long time. He's got all this like, you know, he, it just looks like that skull has been hanging around for a while. And um, the great thing is there's a video on YouTube that you can watch and they have the sculptor actually making this. Um, and it's really awesome to, to watch because you see how much, you know, craft goes into just making this one accessory. So, um, yeah, wonderful uh, addition. So here's a comparison with uh, <clears throat> Falconer and Berserker. And, uh, you know, as you can tell, Berserker's mask is very thin. He ain't, you know, really showing much there. Um, of course, Berserker does have the more bang for your buck um, look, and he is, you know, they, they, even though they both have the same bodies, they, they both have their own distinctive look, and that's what I really love about uh, Falconer and Berserker. Um, you know, besides their really accurate bodies, um, I. I just love these guys, you know, I, I fell in love with Berserker, I, I thought I wasn't, I was scared that I wasn't going to enjoy the figure, but uh, what can I say, <laughs> he's very awesome. Um, here he is, uh, we can compare an older, uh, this is a model kit, this is actually the, oops, the City Hunter from Predator 2, and um, you know, as you can tell, these guys, um, they have really evolved since, um, you know, the, the first AVP movie figures that they released. Um, I don't own any of them, per se, because I just have never been interested in those figures. You know, they're, they're, they're okay. 
I, you know, I, they, they just look too goofy for me. At, at one time, when I was younger, I always wanted, I, I, you know, I, I just wanted the uh, scar. And, you know, then Wolf came out and I bought Wolf. That was my first uh, Hot Toys purchase. And uh, I fell in love with Wolf. Had to buy uh, cleaner, had to, you know, I bought the cleaner kit, the Lost Predator, um, you know, classic, of course, I got uh, day one. <laughs> so I pre order all right, bought that. Um, you know, then the Predator 2, then Berserker, now Falconer. So, you know, my, my collection is growing, and, and I'm really happy that they're still releasing Predator figures. Um, because they're amazing, you know? And you can just tell with this here, um, even as much as I love the model kits, and they were super fun to put together, um, these new guys are just, the detail is impressive. Um, and don't get me wrong, I still love my my City Hunter. I still think he's freaking awesome. But these guys, you know, Hot Toy is definitely, um, they've improved big time on uh, on their just their, their whole series line overall you can tell how much they've improved in the past uh, two, two, two to three years really I mean it's not really that much but um, you can tell um, so you know he does have the same articulation as Berserker um, so nothing really different there he does have the ball jointed uh, waist I guess we can take this off and um you know, he he does bend his knees, you go up and down. This thing does get in the way, it's very loose. His waist, yeah, goes in and out. I love that part. Uh, like when I do my animations and stuff, that that's like the most most useful part for me because model kits are very difficult to uh, to pose with without you know loosening something. Or um, he does have his head. It does turn 360. It's uh, double jointed, uh, triple jointed, I guess you can say. And um, you know, it's ball jointed uh, elbows, arms. So you know, just the usual. Um, and yeah, I love the articulation on these guys. Because another thing that Hot Toys did was they they added all this articulation. But um, you can't tell if they're articulated or not, especially under you know a good light. You cannot tell, and um, that's one thing that I love about uh, Hot Toys now. They're they're really trying their best to make these guys more like statues that you can play with instead of model kits. But um, yeah, so my verdict is: if you're a fan of Predators. Predator 1, 2, AVP, whatever, by Falconer. I have a feeling that he'll be one of those cult classic Hot Toys figures in the future. And um, just pick him up now, and Berserker. Uh, they, uh, he is still available on cornerstorecomics.com, that's where I picked him up. Berserker is also available on there too. Um, you can also pre-order Falconer on bigbadtoystore.com, and Berserker is in stock there as well. Um, sorry about this guy right here. He's <laughs> he's long out of uh, out of stock, but um, yeah, definitely pick up Falconer if you're a big fan. Uh, you know, you, you get uh, you get what you pay for, I guess. Um, some people aren't happy with the price point. I wasn't either until I received this guy, and you can just tell <clears throat> that you know lots of craft went into this figure. And um, yeah. So, all right, guys, thanks for watching my review. Um, update, he will be in AVP AL Part 3. That's why it's taking me so long. I was waiting to get this guy. I wasn't sure if I was or not, but, you know, I gave in. I'm in love with this guy. So, you should see the movie released by April, the rest of the movie. So, that's an update there. And, um, all right, guys, thanks for watching, and adios.